Hi everyone, today I want to talk about my minimalist hair and makeup products. Would you believe that it all pretty much fits in here? First, a disclaimer, this is not to say that if your makeup products and hair products don't fit in a bag this size that you are not a minimalist, that's not true. Go ahead and check out my Am I a True Minimalist video up there um, to talk a little bit more about what I, how I define minimalism and things like that. I am just extremely minimalist in my hair and makeup products because I don't really use that many of them. There are people that use a lot of them and are great minimalists, totally fine. I have a lot more of other items that they wouldn't have. It's really personal to each individual person. But this is what I have and I just wanted to go ahead and show you. So everything that I use on a regular basis is kept in this little bag on my bathroom counter. Um, first off, for hair products, I wanted to show you this is my homemade shampoo and conditioner. I just keep them in these little travel bottles. Um, for shampoo, I use castile soap, which is diluted in purified water. And then occasionally I add like a little bit of jojoba oil or some essential oils like lavender and cedarwood, or I just use the straight diluted castile soap. For conditioner, I use a little bit of raw organic apple cider vinegar diluted in purified water. That's my conditioner. And occasionally I do use baking soda because my hair does get really greasy. And so using that, it kind of helps every once in a while. That is pretty much the basic of my natural hair products because I use that. I don't need a lot of regular, you know, fancy other products like hairspray and mousse and gel and styling products. If I was doing a fancy hairstyle for going out or something, I might use those products, but I don't really have them in my home because I don't need them on a daily basis. I'll borrow them or go buy them if I need them. And then so makeup wise in this little bag, um, first of all, with hair. This is the one hair product that I do use. This is my sweet and sassy hairspray. I got the recipe. It is made with essential oils. Um, and I got the recipe from a chemical free home book by Melissa Pepping. It is amazing. It smells wonderful. And it has kept my hair in such fabulous shape. That's all I need. Also hair wise, I keep a couple of just hair ties in here. I also have a couple of these little clips um, that I often keep in here or in a drawer. That's pretty much my entire hair repertoire up than a comb and I think I need a new one. Makeup wise, I pretty much only have the basics. I have my Honey Bee foundation, I have my Honey Bee blush and eyeshadows, my lighter and my darker to do definition and all that kind of stuff all right there. I have random nail clippers in here. And then I have my Honey Bee Gardens eyeliner, some Tarte concealer, some homemade mascara, and three makeup brushes. I just have a face brush, a blush brush, and a eye defining brush. I do have a couple of other brushes that I don't use on a regular basis that I keep in a drawer, but I only have about three of those. And that is it, that is all that's in here. Um, now again, like I said, I have a couple of brushes put away, and then I also have a hair dryer that I keep basically for emergencies only. I do not use it on a regular basis. The only reason I would use it is if I needed my hair dry in a really quick time to go out of the house or something. Uh, but I keep it for emergencies, and I also have a mirror that I keep in a drawer. I have some extra hair ties, some extra hair clips. And that's pretty much it. In my purse, I also keep homemade lip balm and lip gloss from Young Living. And that's pretty much all I have hair and makeup wise. So I am really straightforward and minimalist when it comes to hair and makeup. And that's okay with me. I don't need fancy. I don't need a lot of stuff. It works for me. I only wash my hair about once a week. And using the natural shampoo and conditioner method, it works great. I don't need product. My hair did take a while to detox when I was working off of regular shampoo, uh, but now it is, it's great and it's easy and it's straightforward and I can do my everyday makeup look. You can see that video up there uh, in less than five minutes. And it is just fabulous to have a simpler life. Go ahead and share with me in the comments below what your one thing that you are super minimalist about. Is it your hair? Is it your makeup? Is it your kitchen? Your office supplies? Craft supplies? What is it that you just don't really need a whole lot of that you're very basic in? And what is that one area that you kind of have a little too much of? For me, it is office supplies and crafts, my friends. 
Yikes, those areas are hard for me. <laughs> Be sure to hit that subscribe video if you wanna see more minimalism videos, more home, family, life, baby, all that kind of stuff. I do videos three times a week and I'd love to have you join us. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.